Foundation Friday. I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today's foundation of choice is by Huda Beauty. I am so late to the game on this foundation. This is nowhere near new. It came out a long time ago and I've been meaning to get it but then I didn't know my color so I wanted to go in person to get it and I never went in person. Blah 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 here we are years later. But I've always heard great things about this foundation, especially for oily skin, if you're looking for a full coverage matte foundation. And those are all of my favorite words. So this is the Huda Beauty Fa Filter Luminous Matte. It's kind of an oxymoron. It's either matte or luminous. Luminous matte, I don't know. I'm the color Gingerbread 430 Neutral full coverage liquid foundation. I also have tried the Huda Beauty stick foundation. This is their skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick. Love the packaging. And then it just scoots up like that in a very nicely packaged twist. But already I can tell you that if you have oily skin, I would probably recommend this foundation versus the stick foundation. This one made me a little bit more shiny. So if you have dry skin, try the stick. If you have oily skin, try the regular liquid foundation. It is currently 5 p.m. So I've already had on this foundation for five hours. So you guys are getting a nice midway through the day peak at where we are. So far, so good. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. This foundation is $40, where the stick foundation is $39, saving you a whopping $1. But I just checked as of right now today, they're actually on sale. So it actually dropped the price of both of them to about $30. Both of these foundations come in 39 shades and the concealer comes in 20 shades. But now let me go back to the beginning of this day where I applied the Fa Filter Foundation. Okay, this is a raggedy rough start, but I'm gonna get cuter by the minute, people. Just trust me. So let me grab the Huda Beauty Foundation. Really cute packaging. They're gonna get a brand new blender. This is from e.l.f. Finally got another one. Oh, what am I thinking? Primer first. I'm gonna use the Il Maquillage No Filter Primer. Oh, look, all these filter names. No filter, fall filter. I guess at the end of the day, we all just wanna look like the filters we use all the time. That's why we use them, right? I bet Huda Beauty has a primer. I should look into it. Now, let's go for the foundation. Let's do one good pump on this beauty sponge. Let's do it here. I've never used this sponge before, so hopefully it's good. Let's check the coverage. Oh, yes. Watch this. What blemish? Oh, I'm just, I'm just a full coverage type of gal. Look at that. Flaws, flawless. Now in all honesty, I was supposed to do the Fenty Ease Drop Foundation today, but it's a very no makeup makeup look and I can't do a no makeup, no makeup look today. So it just didn't make sense timing wise for me. So I will do it on a more natural looking day, but today I need to look a little more put together. I am liking this beauty sponge, Total Face Sponge Duo, wet or dry, by e.l.f. Probably much cheaper than an actual beauty blender. Wow, it could just literally disappear. Huh, magic. I love makeup. Ooh, that's pretty. It's going on so smooth, so matte, very full coverage. Probably, possibly even more full coverage than the Il Maquillage Foundation, which is a current fave of mine. But now I'm going to also give you guys a bonus of the Huda Beauty Concealer, the Overachiever Concealer, High Coverage Creamy Concealer. This is the color Granola 18N. I have been using this to test it out. It has an interesting little nozzle. I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit here, and a little bit there. And I kinda like that it's cold, so it can kinda like chill out any bags you may have. I know I like this type of applicator for my eye creams. Don't know if I necessarily need this same type of applicator for my concealer. It's not very like smooth over the makeup. We'll see. All right, let me grab my same beauty blender 
and blend this out. Okay, I'm already loving how it looks just in this early stage. It's already going on very matte, giving me a very poreless look. I love it. Things I look for in a foundation is matte, full coverage, easy to blend, so far so good. So now I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. Much better. So now it is currently 1 p.m. So I'll let this foundation sit on my face all day long. Then I'll come back at the end of the day and show you how well it lasts on my oily skin. And we're back. It is just about almost 9 p.m. So that's a full eight hour work day of the same foundation. Let's take a look. One, always remember that these lights are very unforgiving. So it actually looks a lot better in person versus on camera. But we'll see how it looks when I edit this. But here is the coverage. Still there. Little shiny in the T-zone per usual. But really not that bad. But now I'm going to blot. I have these little blotting sheets from Rare Beauty. And let's see how this does. Checking for transfer. Hoping it's only gonna pick up oil and not foundation. Here is the blotting sheet. There is foundation on here. So the foundation did transfer and I was able to remove most of the oil. The concealer really held up. The foundation hmm, might have lost a little bit of coverage. But overall, it's pretty good. This was not a first impression of this foundation. I have been using it for maybe a week or so. I actually wore this on my birthday when I went out. So that was like a very solid, maybe four hour outing. And my makeup did look really good even when I got home. So looking at this foundation in person and knowing it from my experience throughout the week, this has officially made my top five favorites for sure. I do wanna go back and try some of my other foundations that I know I love, that I haven't actually used in a while, and really put together like a video of my top five favorite foundations. I think I have them in my mind, but I wanna try them one more time. I do think that this foundation performs differently depending on the primer and the moisturizer and skin products that I use prior. So I'm trying to really narrow it down and see like how it works with my vitamin C serum, with my moisturizer, Il Maquillage primer versus like another one. And I don't think that this was the best matchup that I should have done for the video. So I'm gonna keep wearing this and try different primers and moisturizers and when I figure out what was my favorite, which I think I did on my birthday, I'll let you guys know on Instagram. If you have tried the Huda Beauty Foundation, any of their products, leave me a comment, let me know which is your favorite. How does it work on your skin? Is it oily, is it normal? Do you get shiny? Does it last all day? Leave all your thoughts below. If you enjoy my Foundation Fridays, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I post foundation videos on Fridays and curly hair videos on Sunday, but if you want more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.